serpent said to Eve, did God really say you can't eat from any tree, any of the fruit in the garden? And the woman said, well, no, we can eat from any tree. It's only the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We're not, uh, not allowed to eat from it. Or even, or we will what?
Did you eat the fruit I told you not to eat from? Wait a minute. Does God already know the answer to these questions? What is he getting the human guy to do? To tell him, to be honest, to be real, to be truthful, right? And so Adam says, it was the woman. The one you gave me. So he's blaming the woman and who else? He's blaming the woman and, yeah, she gave me some. So then God looks at the woman and says, how could you do this? And the woman said, serpent. <laughs> what, are they, what is everybody doing? God, we don't do that at all, do we? No, no, no. So then, then the serpent, uh, the, we've said the serpent tricked me into eating the fruit. And so God said something to the serpent. He says, because you have done this, you and your kind are cursed. To crawl on your belly, eat the dust the rest of your life. You will be the enemy of men, women, and their sons. You will bite his heel, but he will crush your head. Uh, just so you know, that's about Jesus. But no one knows yet because this is way at the beginning of the story. So the serpent is going to bite the heel of Jesus, but what's Jesus going to do? Yeah, because he died for us humans. He crushed the serpent's head, but what did the serpent do to him? Yeah, he killed him, right? But Jesus conquered. So that's, that's kind, of a, kind of a heads up. And then God says to Adam and Eve, now because of what you have done, your life will not be easy. You will have many problems and feel pain. Then you will go back to the ground where you came from. Were we created to die? No, we were created to. And anytime someone we know who dies, or tragedies happen, or people we love pass away, we don't like it, right? Why? Because there's something inside of us that goes, this is not right. This was not how things were supposed to be. And according to this story, is it how things were meant to be? No. no. Do you guys ever have problems or feel pain? Do your parents help you have problems and pain too? Does your brother and sister help you have problems and pain? Does soda help you have problems and pain? So, God took Adam and Eve and removed them from the garden where all the fruit and the tree of life was, and he put powerful angels called cherubim with flaming swords to guard the tree of life. God killed an animal, which hadn't happened yet in this story, and he made animal skin clothing. Who made it for him? God provided clothing for the humans and then sent them out into the world to Fend for themselves. How are they doing so far? So several thousands of years later, how are humans doing so far? Are we, are we pretty much the same as Adam and Eve? Eh, God, I don't really care about you. I'm going to go do what I want. That's so much more fun. <laughs> and then every now and then you might hear people talk about God and you're like, that's interesting. But no way, I'm doing what I want to do. Right? How many guys do what you want to do a lot? Oh, Abby's like, I do. <laughs> I watched her like go, oh. How many guys spend way more time doing what God wants you to do? Okay. Ah, I like Ben. Here's Ben. Uh, uh, we, we feel like that, right? Yeah, so if God wants us to love people who don't like us, that's weird. Because you, who, they don't deserve that, right? We need to get revenge. So instead of loving people like God wants us to live, we want to take them out. Right? We want to use our fists. We want to use our words. And we want to blame. It's not me. It's other people. Right? So anytime, anytime someone ever says, why do we live in a messed up world? You can say, oh, our world wasn't messed up. In the beginning, there was a God who created everything and was meant to be really, really but humans said, meh, I'd rather go the revenge way, right? And we'll find out later next week, uh, some bad stuff happens now when we decided to go our own way. 